Now we want to make the NPC jump, which is not too difficult. First, I need to go into the AI object that we created. I'm going to walk the animator window. And we're pretty much going to repeat the same process. I'm going to create a bow parameter. I'm going to call it jump platform. So now we're going to go from start walking to a new state. I'm going to call it jump platform. And the condition is going to be get rid of the exit time. And the condition is going to be jump platform. Now I'm going to go into the script, start walking. We wrote this in our previous video. And when we say stop walking, we also want to check whether we want to jump or not. So I want to compare the Y value of the start sphere versus the end sphere. So first we need to get the start sphere. Get its position and the Y value. And we want to compare that versus the Y value of the end sphere. So if the y value for the start sphere, if this is smaller, or if this is lower than the y value of the end sphere, that means we want to jump. So here we say animator set bull. Let me press F12 and create a new enum. It was called jump platform. Save. So now jump platform is going to be true. And as soon as this is called, we switch to the next state and we reset jump platform back to false. Save and I'm going to go back to Unity, go to the walk folder states AI walk. This is more like walk and jump. So let me rename the folder. And inside the state scripts, I want to create a new one. I'm going to call it jump platform. Go in there, control T. I want to copy paste the format from start walking. Copy paste the format here. Jump platform, rename the script and get rid of everything else. Okay, save. I'm going to go back and create the scriptable object. Jump platform name it jump platform and I'm going to add it to this state character state add a slot drag in the jump platform ability and as soon as we go into this state we want to say we want to tell the character to jump so first we need to get the character control We say jump is true. I also want to say move up is true because we want to ledge grab. So now if I go back and play, make sure you save everything. Click play. And I'm going to turn on walk. And as soon as the character gets to the first checkpoint, it's going to start jumping. Now you want the 
player, the NPC, to move forward. Let me click play again. And if you remember the front spheres, here it is. I want this front sphere to reach certain height, and then that's when we have the player move forward, the NPC. So I'm going to go back to the script. First, I want to get the Y difference between that front sphere versus the end sphere that's on the platform. So I'm going to call it top distance. And we want to get the difference between first get the character control. And we want to get the difference between the destination, which is the end sphere, the Y. And we minus one of the front spheres. If you remember one of our previous videos, index one front sphere is the one at the top. So we want to compare the top sphere versus the destination. And here I just want to guess the number. Just come up with something small. If the distance is smaller than three, this is when we move forward. And before we start moving forward, first we want to set the character in the right direction. So here we want to compare the Z value of the end sphere versus the front sphere. Actually, let me just put an if statement. We want to compare the Z values. If the star sphere Z value is smaller than the end sphere, that means you want to face right side. So face forward is true. In every circumstance, other, in every other circumstance, we say face forward is false, which means you're facing the other way. And here, if the character is facing forward, then we say control move right is true, move left is false. If you're facing the other way, you want to go left. So left is true, right is false. Now if I go back and play, I'm going to turn on walk. Let's see what happens. So he jumps, does the ledge grab, but we don't want it to keep on jumping, but we got the first jump right. We also want to check the bottom sphere. Let me get the bottom distance. Zero would be the one at the bottom. And we want to compare that against, again, the end sphere. And we don't want to jump if the bottom distance is smaller than something like 0 0.5. I'm just guessing here. And here, if you want to jump, this has to be the other way. So this checks if you're on the platform, on the second platform. And if you're on the second platform, you want to stop moving. And you also want to stop jumping. Save everything, and I'm going to go back and play again.
Okay, so once you're on the platform, here is the bottom of the front sphere. If the difference between this y and the y here is smaller than 0 0.5, which means you're on this platform, that's when we stop jumping or moving. Okay, I think everything looks good. If I turn this off and on again, I think we should go to the next platform. Do it again, we get to the player. If I look at the code again, these things, this whole script here, this is just a temporary solution because every platform might have a different width or different height. And this is just a random small number that I put in there. And if the platform happens to have a thinner or a thicker uh, ground, this script might not work. And if I go from the other side, I think we're also gonna have a problem. Okay. We see that the AI is missing the platform. It's going the other way now. And the sphere here is also not very, it's not spot on the, the connection. Okay, we don't want the AI doing this. Let me go again from the other side. Okay, it kind of works from the other side, but we see that the sphere is kind of off position here. But for now, I'm happy that we got the basic transitions working. These details in terms of where you jump, positioning the NPC, or moving the NPC forward while it's in there, those kind of details I think I should do in the next video. I think it's gonna take a few more videos. For this one, I think we've done enough. So let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.